Hey, what's going on guys? Good morning. So I have for you today another unboxing. This is the Redmi Note 8. Okay, so this is a Xiaomi phone that came out last year in late 2019. So it's a little more than a year old. Uh, I picked this up for 465,000 pesos and I'll have the conversion on the screen here to let you know exactly how much that was. It's a little more than a hundred bucks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this open. Let me show you guys what it comes with. So you're seeing this the first time like I am, even though there's tons of videos already out there uh, about this phone. So let's see, pretty sure most Xiaomi devices come with cases. Uh, so you got your SIM tool right here. And yes, you do get a case. Doesn't look like a clear case though, it looks like a case. Uh, normally they give you a clear case. Oh, it's a tenant. It's clear, but it's just tenant. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then we have the phone. I'm gonna set that to the side for a second. Let's see what else comes in the box. Okay, so we get charging brick. I can get this out. <clears throat> so it's a Xiaomi charging brick. Let's see if this will focus. Uh, but this is only 10 watts. Okay, so you got a 10 watt charging brick, and then you get a USB cable, USB type A to type C cable. Okay, so we can put that back. And we can stick this back. All right. You slide this over to the side, get this out of the way. Let's put the phone back in here. Okay, so let's look at some of these specs that are on this phone. Let's see. This has a 48 megapixel camera, 6.3 inch display, 4,000 milliamp batteries, and it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor 665. Okay, so. Let's take this out and take a look at it. Okay, that's the information again, a little bit more clear. But uh, let's check out this hardware. So we got the quad camera set up here in the back, LED flash. Now the main sensor I know is 48, and then the rest, ultra rod is two, macro is two, and then you have your depth sensor, depth sensor, which is also two. You do get a fingerprint reader here in the back, uh, here on the, which would be the left side, looks like we just have the SIM tray, nothing else. On the right side, we got the volume rockers, eh, kind of clicky, power button. And then on the bottom, you do get a headphone jack, type C, a microphone, and one speaker. On the top, you do have another microphone, no other speakers. So just know there's only one speaker on this. Uh, in the front, you do get a 13 megapixel camera. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll be back in a second, set this up. I'm gonna do some quick video and some quick photos outside just to show you guys what they look like. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here's a quick clip, 4K 30. That is the top that you can film with uh, using the rear camera, which is 4K 30. You do have 1080 at 60 at 30 and you have 720p as well. So let's change this to the front facing this camera. This is the front facing camera. We only have 1080 at 30 frames per second, no 60 frames per second. At guys I'm back I got stuff set up I do have the case on I am gonna pull this off but uh, I didn't set up the fingerprint reader probably should have but I know from looking at previous reviews on this it's kind of slow but it works I mean it's a budget phone um, paying a little bit more than 100 bucks for this but I will tell you it is kind of snappy uh, it's something you definitely gonna have to get used to uh, you got to add the app drawer when you go into settings. It is a Snapdragon 665, so colors are okay. 
Um, I wouldn't call him the greatest. And then let me play a little bit of this video so you can hear the sound. So it's not bad. You know, it just has the one firing bottom speaker right there. You do get this little cap right here for your type C, um, you know, to protect that. But you get the headphone jack and the mic that I mentioned earlier. You know, the photos that I put out were not bad. The video, you know, it's okay. There's no stabilization at all on the video. So know that going in. Um, as far as brightness goes, you know, outside you may struggle in direct sunlight when it comes to brightness. You know, if you're used to flagship device, you know, something like uh, my S21 Ultra right here, you know, it's, it's not gonna be as bright as this. You know, the cameras are decent. You're not gonna get the same quality as this, but it's a good phone for the price, especially if you're a traveler, you're looking for something to just, you know, travel with, take some photos, maybe a little video. This works just fine. You know, if you break it, it gets lost, it gets stolen. No big deal. It's a hundred bucks, a little more than a hundred bucks. So no big deal. But OK, guys, so this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Um, nice looking device, you know, the case and everything that comes with it. So it's not bad. So I'm going to end it out with some more um, photos and that'll be it, guys. Hopefully you guys have a great day.